today is the day, Fresh Baked. Today is the day. It's our, our third crack at this. All right. Day three. First two days washed out from the rain. But we're going to give it a shot again today. It's going to happen. We're on Main Street right now. It's about 10 after 2, almost an hour and a half. Actually, it will probably be an hour and a half before the parade reaches us. We're posted up there uh, in front of the Main Street Opera House. I got my wife Liz with me. She's going to enjoy the day with us. So we're just going to be chilling out here for a little bit on Main Street, have some 100th anniversary lunch, uh, and uh, wait for the show to start. I cannot wait for this, you guys. I have been so excited for this parade to start. I can't believe it's finally here. Three years, three years since we've seen this parade, since any kind of daytime parade here on Main Street. Oh, Mickey's here too. Meanwhile, we're uh, posted over here in front of the Opera House. Got that lunch that I was talking about. That is the barbecue picnic dog. The lady asked for a cream cheese pretzel. That's your lunch, I guess, right? It's like a snack. And then uh, we got some of those firefly chips. It looks good. Did you get your utensils? Nearby. What? What are those? Welcome. Look at that pickle on there, man. And some slaw and pulled pork. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show this to you and I'm going to talk about it, but you're not going to get to see me eat that. <laughs> that would be a disaster. <laughs> no, none of us are going to. Okay, sounds good. We'll no. just tell you how it tastes. We're just going to tell you if yeah, it's good or not. It's so it's the barbecue uh, picnic dog. It's, it's okay. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, you know, every dog is better coleslaw in it, I think. Would you agree? Say that again? Coleslaw. I think everything everything's better with coleslaw. I do love me some coleslaw. That, that does taste good on the hot dog. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty good. It's a little cold. It is, but you know, in, you know, you walking from here to there. Yeah, it took me forever to get that thing so, over here to start eating Just it. the weather itself probably got, you know, super cold, super fast. But that's but okay. real winter. <laughs> these firefly chips are always so good. I love these. I'm glad that they kept, they're pretty much permanent now. Cool, cool. <laughs> That's just gonna happen. Fifteen minutes. I'm really excited. I only saw the one time and one time only, and I remember loving it. I really did, especially like when they did the throwbacks, especially yeah. uh, Sword of the Stone with Merlin. Oh, Merlin, yeah. Literally my favorite. So. Uh, the Merlin that we saw, that I saw that one day, was just feeling himself. No, I think I had the same kind of guy. He was just like, lip, 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 lip. yeah. So, you guys, you're not prepared for how good this parade is. Like, she thinks she's a fan of Sensational. I do love Sensational. Watch, I, Sensational is not half the parade this one is, in my opinion. No, for sure. No, it's, I mean, cause that was such an already an older parade, Sensational. Yeah, I was know? over it. I was over <laughs> Sensational. I was ready for a new parade. No, I'm very excited. Yeah. Look how pretty that looks with the balloon. And a cotton candy and popcorn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that. <laughs> this is the end. Here's what you came for. This is the moment. Magic was made for.
Uh, okay, the float, by the way, the floats. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. So much, they're so creative. It's so like full, fully realized, yeah. fully developed. It's They went all the way. The colors. I mean, so yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The colors of this show. The colors of this show. The coat. Look at the, oh my god. Okay, the cocoa float. Outstanding. You know, I was a little concerned. We uh, we got here a little later than I was hoping to get here, so we were down at the, the Main Street Opera House as opposed to on Main Street proper. And so we tried to get a spot. <laughs> we wound up we wound up getting backlit by the sun, uh, but I think the coverage came out okay, so hopefully it's not too bad. We are sticking around for the second show, the 6.30 show. We're going to get a little night coverage of it, 
with fancy cams, so it's going to look beautiful, of course. But we need a bumper. We need to. We need some. We need to kill some time between now and the 6:30 show. So I got a treat for for me and Liz. One sour cherry churro. Did you get the dipping sauce? Okay, because we're literally on One cream cheese dipping sauce. Okay, I'm finally going to try it. It's still kind of warm, which is nice. There was a long line. I can tell you were gone for a while. This is like your favorite churro, right? It's the best churro of all time, in my opinion. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to like it as much as I did, but it is definitely better with the cream cheese frosting. And it's a cream cheese sauce. I do love some cream cheese. No pressure. <laughs> yeah. You like it? I love that that sour yeah. kick, but it's like not over the top sour. Like, no, no. Like when I think sour, I think like warheads. No, it's not you a warhead know? level. <laughs> I still think of warheads like more sour. No, it's more like the cherry, sour cherry balls. Yeah, that's like, that's like a good that yeah. or like sour patch with the red one. Yeah. I like it. Now I had I actually enjoyed the churro by itself without the cream cheese and then I put the cream cheese on there and I nearly died. It was for me it was I love the cream cheese because it gives that subtle like sweetness to yeah. it. But I, I can eat it by itself for sure. Yeah yeah. And normally she doesn't eat what she her sweet note lasts for about thirty seconds typically, so She'll be asking me for popcorn before the before the night is out. <laughs>
So I have to say, um, having seen this now four times, two times in 2020, two more times today, each time I saw that show, I liked it even more. There is so much to love about Magic Happens. The choreography is amazing. Uh, the music is great. You know, you know what they do? Okay, the floats are fantastic. Every single one of them is A plus in my opinion, especially the one with the, uh, the flora, fauna, and Meriwether. Awesome, awesome float. One of the things that they get right this time that they, that they never do, that Disney never does, is there's two modes for Disney. There's the classic, cheesy, corny Disney, and then there's the, their attempts to be hip. Sensational was them trying to be hip, you say? Maybe. I mean, it was definitely just very classic Disney parade, but sounds, uh, but magic happens to get onto a whole nother level where this might be the new way of doing parades. Yeah, because what, what they did so well was they, 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 they actually were able to do it hip, but that's because they got somebody who was hip mm. to do the show. You know, Todd Recall. I don't know if you're familiar with him or not. Okay, so he's a guy who got a start on YouTube. Okay. He did a lot of great stuff on YouTube uh, back, you know, this is like 10 years ago even when we first started. Uh, and then he eventually you know, became a bigger name in music and, and, and singing and whatnot. Uh, but, so they got somebody contemporary to, I don't know what they call it, put the show together. Anyway, uh, but they, they were able to mix the classic corny, cheesy, you know, choreography, like the dance moves, and then they mix it in a little bit, like the, that first number. That first number that they do, that the, the dance choreography, the Amazing. first thing that comes yeah. out, is so good. But yeah. then they, they slide into something that's a little bit more, yeah. you know, the, that will work Exactly, that's yeah. great. And great I thought word. that was really, really great. And this, it's the first time that I've seen Disney try to be hip and actually do it. <laughs> Whereas Sensational was kind of a kind of a fail. The, the, the best part of Sensational, like the drum line. Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. But see, that's not hip, though. No, you know, exactly. But the, you know, but the drum stuff was supposed to be hip. The actual, yeah. the actual drum line group were good. But I didn't like seeing Mickey play the drums, to be honest. I didn't, I didn't, I, that, All right, that I'll give you that. The only thing that the, the, that I thought was a little over was the, uh, the costumes. Like, I feel like they kind of, they pushed it a little yeah. bit, but I guess that's the way it is. Yeah. Like, I don't know. What did you think? My only critique, I only have one critique. Yeah. And I think I said this last time when I saw it before, you know, the pandemic, was Cinderella's pumpkin looks more like an orange. I didn't notice that. And... Why do you think I don't? I, and I don't. You mean a shape? Yeah, you're right. The shape. Yeah. Is, it was a circle. It's more circular than like to, a plumpy. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that's very hard to do, and yeah. I know that maybe it's gonna be more like the carriage. Maybe the carriage. Maybe it's you're the carriage right. it's becoming. The, it's, more a carriage, not a pump. it's maybe the pumpkin becoming the carriage. Still, all I see is a porch. <laughs> <laughs> or orange. <maybe. laughs> yeah, but other than that, it's literally one of the best parades I think we've we've had I, since I really the liked, night. I, actually, yeah. I really like her float. Uh, I especially, like I said, I especially love the, uh, the three, the fairy godmothers. The fairy godmothers, the, the, the last the, float. The, you know, yeah, the, very, so very. Bad. I think the most very cool thing that's so theatric is Pepita, yeah. where it's a, it's a puppet. It really they're, is. They're controlling her, and it's just absolutely amazing yeah. how yeah. they really make her like she's by herself. Like, yeah. they're not there. Well, you notice them, but then you but you easily slide out of that. You I, it's so step great. Out of that and, and get into right. It. Yeah. Um, it's a great, great, great parade. I, I hope. I hope this this gets well received by him. I hope you guys love the show. I really do because um, it's been. This is the, actually. I feel like this is kind of. I feel like we're ninety eight percent there now. We, we're still. I mean, what has it been? It's going on. We're two years now post COVID. And uh -huh. This was the last. The last thing. Really, the major thing is to get to get a daytime parade down Main Street. Um, yeah. You know, a thing that we haven't had in for years. So I feel like that's 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 it. We're done. We're good. Everything's back to normal. We can go about our Disneyland business. And that's actually our show tonight, Fresh Baked. It's all magic <laughs> all happens. All about magic happens. That's it. Well, we got a churro in there. <laughs> yeah, and, we got, we and ate, some lunch. You know, yeah. Yeah. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for more from Fresh Baked, obviously. But no more Magic Cabins for a little while because it's going to rain again, I guess, tomorrow and tomorrow, Tuesday. Tuesday and I'm going to take the next couple of days off because I've been here every day <laughs> since Thursday trying to catch this dang show. I am exhausted. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, follow us on Instagram at underscore Fresh Baked, on Twitter at Fresh Baked Disney. That's Fresh with no E. And on TikTok at Fresh Baked Disney. If you like our show and want to show you support, please do consider joining our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash Fresh Baked. Otherwise, Thanks again for watching, everybody. We love you. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. Fresh bake. Fresh bake. Bye.